Hi guys, it is a fine summer day here in the end times in paradise at Bugs in a Jar Farm here on this glorious, it is a, I believe it is a Wednesday somewhere around July 27th, 2022, so the little dog and I are taking a, a break from our latest little planet nibbling adventure. We're thinking about building a road up to uh, Piney Woods, so, because uh, why should you have to walk when you can just build a road? Why can't you bulldoze a road to take your gas sucking truck to the top of a hill? Why should you be forced to walk? But anyway, uh, take a break for that and uh, see what's on my mind. Well, I mentioned in a ran a couple of days ago <clears throat> that I was over doing some research on uh, on some definitions over here on UrbanDictionary.com. I, I have been a big fan of UrbanDictionary.com for several years. If you're not familiar with it, it is a good alternative source. It kind of keeps you a little more up to date than those old fogies who write dictionaries. Really good for if you hear a slang term that you're not familiar with. Uh, but I decided to play around with some a couple of terms that I am familiar with, but I did not realize. I did not realize until a couple of days ago. I've often wondered exactly who it is who comes up with the definitions uh, of terms on, uh, on urban dictionary and uh, I found out to my to my pleasant surprise that it is actually people out there in the real world just just regular folks come up with a definition so you can submit your own definition uh, urban dictionary is written by you define a word so you click on define a word you put in the word that you want to define according to your understanding of the word and uh, you, you put the word in you put in your definition and you can be pretty lengthy in, in your definition uh, then they ask you to use it in a sentence so uh, I obviously uh, since I consider myself to be a proud unrepentant eco-nazi I decided to define the word eco-nazi and this is what I have submitted to uh, Urban Dictionary not sure uh, if it's if you're ever going to be able to find it there you probably have to dig pretty deep. Eco-Nazi. Okay. Uh, write for... Oh, so these are the advice. Write for a large audience. Lots of people will read this. So give some background information. Maybe I didn't uh, do a good enough job on that. Anyway, Eco-Nazi. An eco-Nazi is a subspecies, no doubt the fewest in number of doomer, we will be back to that in a minute, a subspecies of doomer who understands that the one, the only way to save the planet is the final solution for humans to go extinct. There are two ways to do this. Increase the death rate or decrease the birth rate to zero. The eco-Nazi is, or should be, a proponent of the second choice. So that is the, according to my being an eco-Nazi, that is my definition of eco-Nazi. 
So now I am supposed to use the word eco-Nazi in a sentence. <clears throat> wow, that dude is a real eco-Nazi because he got a vasectomy before letting even one planet-nibbling bundle of joy out of the oven. And uh, so I submitted it and so my, uh, my definition is under review, under review. So I don't know if they tell you whether you've been accepted or not. So of course, that was my definition. So then I was curious to see uh, the other definitions. And so I type in eco-Nazi to see what other normal people on the planet, how they define eco-Nazi or how they see people with my views. And this last one, I mean, I'm sorry, the first one that's here, uh, is uh, it's just so weird and so long that I don't even have time because it never even defines it never defines eco not anyway okay we're gonna look at they, they usually put three choices up at the top so we're going to skip over the first one because it is just too weird, and it's not a definition. But anyway, all right. Eco-Nazi, this is from Mr. Fibble. Mr. Fibble, eco-Nazi. The kind of leaf-eating, cardigan-wearing, lentil-munching hippie that thinks you are Satan's spawn for owning a car and eating meat, preaches freedom and tolerance, but will not accept any views but their own, usually stoned off their box and stuck in the 60s. If they have a car, it will be a 2CV. They smell of compost female variety of eco-Nazi, usually called Roz. Roz. So instead of using eco-Nazi in a sentence, Mr. Fibble gives us some examples. Examples. Road protesters, most college lecturers, are eco-Nazis. Uh, brother, uh, Jeremy Jimenez, would you like to uh, comment on that? Most college lecturers are eco-Nazis. Social workers are eco-Nazis. And don't forget Ken Livingston. I have no clue who Ken Livingston is. I have never heard the name Ken Livingston since the day I was born, so I do not know if uh, Ken is an eco-Nazi or not. Okay, that was Mr. Fibble talking about all of those, basically those little lefties, you know, the leaf-eating, lentil-munching hippies. So now we're going to hear from Upchuck. Okay, eco-Nazi, a nasty right-wing, conservatively correct phrase used to slur environmentalists and the environmental movement, usually used by idiots or smug elitist Tory twats. So this was uh, using eco-Nazi in a sentence, right-wing shithead, you know, suddenly they make a little conversation, 
right wing shithead is using eco Nazi in a sentence. Damn those hippie commie flag burning eco Nazis. They say I shouldn't be able to fly tip toxic waste in that river. What is this? Nazi Germany? So there you go. And, and, and for the record, uh, uh, for the record, uh, I am not an environmentalist. Okay, one more time. Hambone Little Tail is not an environmentalist. I am an eco Nazi. So I love it when what he's talking about. Now he's over there in England, it sounds like. But he's talking about the Alex Jones, uh, Tucker Carlson crowd uh, calling uh, mainstream environmentalist uh, eco Nazis, uh, which is you know which is every bit a a as hilariously ridiculous as calling Joe Biden a socialist. Uh, for for Alex Jones or Tucker Carlson or any one of those right wing clueless fucking morons to call I don't know probably Michael Mann or Bill McKibben an eco Nazi uh, it, it, it is uh, you, you know it's uh, obviously they do not understand the uh, definition of eco-Nazi. Uh, anyway, so obviously, guys, you know the bigger conversation in my definition of eco-Nazi, I used another term that they said, okay, uh, what is your definition of this? And that, of course, is the much debated and more and more maligned term doomer. I think Sandy uh, didn't Sandy just have a recent show talking about doomers and, uh, and, and various brands of doomers. I noticed even Sandy Shellis at Environmental Coffee House, which is not Eco-Nazi Coffee House, nowhere in that discussion uh, anywhere and Sandy's show on various uh, flavors of Doomer was eco-Nazi even mentioned. I, I was over there in the comments all by myself over uh, at Environmental Coffee House going, uh, where is a, even a mention of eco-Nazi? Uh, so this really shows you where eco-Nazi plays in uh, it, like other Doomers just don't even want to admit that there is anybody out there uh, who understands that humans are the problem, so the solution to the problem is no more humans. Uh, who was it? Vegematic was in this, having this. Uh, I guess Vegematic, uh, brother, correct me if I'm wrong, are you no longer claiming to be a doomer, uh, Veg told me, I guess that he is no longer identifying himself as a doomer, if I understood him correctly. And I assured Veg that uh, virtually everyone on the planet would be considering uh, himself or herself to be a doomer in a few years. But obviously, after reading Urban Dictionary, maybe I'm not a doomer. Or maybe I'm the one who doesn't understand the definition of Doomer, but of course, since I defined eco-Nazi and I used the term Doomer, then I had to go define Doomer. And uh, okay, a Doomer is any person of any age or gender, which uh, that'll make more sense in a minute, a doomer is any person of any age or gender who has studied the handwriting on the wall about what is happening on this planet 
to arrive at the obvious conclusion that global industrial civilization, humanity, and all the earthlings we share this collapsing planet with are utterly, irrevocably fucked. A doomer has abandoned all hope with all its attendant forms of hopium and apocaloptimism, maybe I'm going to have to go define those next, that the situation will do anything other than continue to deteriorate. A doomer is a rare breed of human who can handle the truth with a capital T that there is nothing that anybody on any level from individuals to the United Nations will ever be able to do a damn thing to change the dystopic future awaiting us all. A doomer dedicates his or her life to figuring out how to live the rest of what is left of his or her existence with this knowledge. And um, then, of course, they asked me to use the word doomer in a sentence. Wow, that dude really gets it. <clears throat> what is going down on this planet? He is a true doomer. And uh, then, of course, I wanted to, uh, I can't believe I've never done this. I have never gone over to UrbanDictionary.com, and my guess is that UrbanDictionary.com, I'm taking a wild guess, that it is mainly the domain of 20-somethings. Uh, my guess is, you know, it's this, it's this hipster kind of website. So my guess is the vast majority of people uh, clicking on UrbanDictionary.com, I'm going to guess, are between the ages of 18 and 35. Probably not too many 62-year-old uh, doomers clicking in, which may or may not have something to do with these definitions. Uh, good Lord. Well, they have seven definitions of doomer. Uh, okay. Uh, anyway. We're going to, I don't know if I'm going to get through all seven. Doomer, a person, usually a millennial or Generation Z and male, who has experienced apparent hardship, relationship, breakups, job loss, failure, etc., and has become fully immersed in apathy, self-hatred, depression, and generally being a loner, usually asleep or tired in the day and more active at night, spending time on the internet or going on long night walks ruminating, often has few other hobbies while listening to characteristic music including slowcore Eastern European Goth, Doomer Wave, Radiohead, and the more somber and depressing forms of Midwest emo music. Doomers often want a normal life, but find it hard to understand why everything goes against them and thinks long and hard about a path back to normality. Well, guys, I guess other than being male, uh, and, and maybe at least half the time being depressed, 
that definition has absolutely zero to do with my definition of a doomer. Absolutely zero, and I cannot think of one doomer that I know, and I know a shitload of doomers, I cannot think of one of them that remotely uh, sounds like uh, sounds like that definition. The, the only doomer uh, that I know who takes night walks uh, is a female in her 40s, and uh, she is welcome to comment. Okay, next. Uh, a doomer is a more enlightened update of the incel. And then they take you on, and then, then we go over there to what is an incel, but we're not going, uh, good God, this could go on forever. <clears throat> a doomer is a more enlightened update of the incel, where the incel is chronically alone and projects his hatred onto women, the Doomer has accepted his equally alone fate without resentment. Instead of bitching, he listens to Radiohead on evening walks. So obviously, uh, anyone who knows me knows I do not fit this definition. Uh, anyway, usually in his 20s, the Doomer is typically unemployed or doing a dead-end job tormented by unrequited love and alienated from most of the population. And this sense of personal aimlessness and despair seeps into his views on the world in general. So they're saying the Doomer worldview comes from within the doomer and what's going on in the world does not create the doomer. Uh, so again, I have a problem with this. So, the doomer lives in constant despair for humanity's future with the prospect of ecological catastrophes and economic downturns tormenting his mind to dull his sense of Weltschmerz, and then they link you, I've never heard in my entire life, Weltschmerz, I'll have to go look that up, to dull his sense of Weltschmerz, he smokes or drinks or takes drugs, but nothing can quite take away the dread that the Doomer constantly feels toward the future, hence his name. Okay, here is a short and sweet definition. A person with a pessimistic outlook on life, I would say a realistic uh, outlook on life, a Doomer feels a sense of helplessness, of helplessness and aimlessness, and is often stricken with deep despair for life. For a doomer, life is meaningless, and the world is inevitably doomed by humanity's ignorance and greed. Well, okay, again, I will, uh, I know very few, if any doomers, that, that uh, feel a sense of helplessness and aimlessness. <coughs> uh, there's a difference between hopelessness and helplessness. Uh, anyway, but, uh, but, you cannot argue that a, a doomer uh, feels that the world is inevitably doomed by humanity's ignorance and greed. Uh, so finally someone get, gets it. If they had just said, doomer, a person who believes 
the world is inevitably doomed by humanity's ignorance and greed. I would be okay with that one. Okay, a doomer has a lack of faith in humanity or people in general. Giving up on all humans or groups of people for perceived slights or injustices committed by a few. Lacking confidence in the future of humans because of an, an event directly affecting their life or not despite any positive response that happened. This is not limited to any particular political group affiliation or generation. Normal people. Okay, Doomer. All right. A Doomer is someone who has taken the final red pill, and then they uh, link you over to the definition of red pill. A Doomer is someone who has taken the final red pill and has given into a schizoid lifestyle of isolation, pessimism, and total apathy. Doomers wallow in self-hatred and are usually depressed. Doomers are almost always exclusively men. And uh, as I have mentioned, so on both of my channels, uh, I find in the analytics that 87%, 87% of my uh, subs on both my channels are male, 13% female. Okay. Uh, this is the second time that people that they've mentioned, but then they don't have a link to it called Doomer Wave listens to Doomer Wave or similar playlists. Would somebody please tell me what Doomer Wave is and how to get on it? Okay, one more. Uh, so instead of the red pill, we now have the black pill. There's the blue pill and the red pill from the Matrix, and now I guess either the final red pill, which more and more people are calling the black pill, although interestingly they don't have a link to that term. Anyway, Doomer, depressed black-pilled bachelors, typically always male, usually but not exclusively in an age group of 20 to 50 years old. Doomers want to have a good normal life but have such a low sexual market value that they end up going on night walks alone. Here we are again with these night walks. I have no idea. What the fuck? I, I think it has something to do with that cartoon that's out there on YouTube. If you look for Doomer, you'll find... I think what they're talking about is that dude on uh, YouTube who goes on these long night walks uh, fretting about life. They end up going, they, they have such a low sexual market value that they end up going on night walks alone. They want a good job, but they are not talented enough or driven enough to achieve in the workplace. This results in extremely negative thinking about themselves and the world and an I have given up kind of lifestyle. They think the world is falling apart and they're actually quite articulate in describing what is wrong, but no one 
wants to listen to them. They're like ghosts, just unseen, mostly. Yep, yep, yep. So there you go. I do like that one. They're actually quite articulate in describing what is wrong, but no one wants to listen. Do you think so? Uh, and anyway, since I do realize I am talking to myself, and I don't even have to go on a night walk to do it, I can sit here in this chair in this, uh, on this beautiful day, uh, articulating what is wrong with the fucking planet and realizing that nobody is listening to me and I am talking to myself. So uh, I'm going to wrap up talking to myself. Okay, little dog, go get your chippy. Fine. Is it pop? Would you stop over there yakking to yourself? And get back to bulldozing a road up through a pine forest or something. Make yourself useful. Get out there and crank up a fucking bulldozer. All of this doom and gloom. I've got chippies to get. Do you have chippies to get? Well, I got. Get out there and uh, take a long, lonely night walk while you still can. And uh, try not to get mugged. My guys.